Hello, so GPT classify is a function that will help you categorize your content into one specific category. And this is how it differs from GPT tag, which can apply multiple tags to some text. So uh, here's how it works. Let's first do an example where we will show, uh, we will analyze the sentiment of feedback that uh, we have received for the GPT for she Sheets uh, product. So I will first uh, give the possible categories of sentiment. So here we we'll go with positive, neutral, and negative. I'll put that here. And then all I have to do is type GPT classify. Um, the first argument is the feedback. And then I put my categories. And there we go. Okay. So it says neutral and indeed wanted to show you that I don't get output in individual columns using GPT list. Uh, it is indeed, uh, even though it is reporting a problem, uh, the tone is neutral, the sentiment is neutral. So this is correct. So now I will fix uh, the categories vertically so that I can just drag down the formula. And let's drag it down. And there we go. Uh, so we've got neutral, negative, neutral, neutral, and positive, uh, which is correct. And this one, well, even though the text is in Spanish, uh, it's still categorized it. Uh, I will let Spanish speakers assess if it's a good uh, sentiment analysis or not, but still, this is quite powerful. Um, okay, now let's uh, go a bit deeper and try to categorize not the sentiment but the type of problem of, of the type of feedback sorry so let's say that the categories we have and just for the sake of the demo I will put the categories in in this different cell so problem uh, question and praise okay now what I can do is just do GPT classify and same thing I will uh, put the first argument is the feedback and then I can put the categories here uh, as a range. This way, if you have lots of categories uh, or you edit, you want to edit them easily, it is easier if each has their own cell. Uh, so this categorizes this feedback as a problem, which is correct. Now, all I need to do to fix, to um, drag the formula down is to fix the categories range vertically. So again, I add dollar signs for this and now I can drag it down. Okay, and there we go. So this is indeed a question. Is there any option to select between British and American language or any other language? Um, this is clearly a problem. Uh, this could have been categorized as a question, I guess. Uh, or yes, I mean, problem is not, it's also a problem like the user is reporting that they're not able to do something. Uh, this is clearly a problem and this is clear, clearly praise. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, this works and of course, um, the more, let's say, the more uh, categories, uh, specific categories you give, the better it will be. Um, so, I hope you appreciate the video. Uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are notified when I publish new videos and uh, tell me what works and what doesn't work in the comments and I will try to help you. Thanks, thank you for watching.